Thanks Meteor for sponsoring this video. On today's video, we are going back thousands of years. We all know bread is amazing and so is steaks. But there is one issue with meat. If you don't take care of it properly, it goes bad really quickly. And a very long time ago, a technique was created to preserve meat. But today, I'm bringing it back. I want to know how it's going to stack up with modern way of dry aging beef. So let's begin. Now in order to start this experiment, the first thing we need to do is to make a dough. You simply throw in some flour on a bowl and immediately go in with water. Then mix everything together until you have a shaggy dough and you knead it until it becomes a nice smooth dough. Now even though this dough already contains natural yeast, it should not be any issue. At least that's my hope. Because once the kneading was done, you want to let it rest so we can open it up easily. Talking about that, anything can be used. A rolling pin like this makes things easy, but you can always use a wine bottle or anything. Once it's fully opened, it's time to bring in the beef. And for today's experiment, we're going to be using this beautiful rib roast. As you can clearly see, it has good marbling. But in order to begin, the first thing that is needed is to have a control. So for that, we want to head it and split it in half. One of them, we're going to be using a modern way of dry aging beef, which if you've ever watched my channel before, you are very familiar with. There's not much to do but to put it on a cooling rack and that's it. The second one, on the other hand, let me show you. You first place it right in the middle of the dough. Then the key here is to make a tight seal. Hundreds of years ago, plastic was not a thing. So using dough to protect it from air was a genius idea. The key here is to get it as tight as possible. To make sure that I did not do anything wrong, I did use some plastic to make it super tight. But once the tightness was achieved, the plastic had to go. I mean, take a look at it. It looks like a beef wellington, but we all know it's not. And I really hope that my seal was tight enough so that it can preserve this meat. As the only thing left to do now is to put it in a cooling rack and into the dry ager it goes for half a year. Once the time was up, I took it out and look, things are completely different. Not only the ancient way of dry aging beef is different, but the real dry age one has gone through something. Oh boy. This is pushing everything to its limit. As you can clearly see, it's not very appetizing. But our true experiment is quite different. It almost looks like nothing happened. Even though the dough changed color a little bit, it seems nicely preserved. But I was so curious about this one that I had to go in and see. And as soon as we took the first slice, oh boy, oxidation to the max. But we went ahead and continued to trim as much as possible. Like I always say, if it doesn't smell bad, it's okay. The opposite side looked a little bit more promising as he had a little bit of pinkness. It was not looking very good. Now it's time to see the one that was preserved in the dough. And as soon as I took the first slice, wow, it is nice and pink. It almost looks like it was vacuum sealed. Holding it on the hand and smelling it is a quite a unique experience. It's good, but it was time to see the real deal. So I went ahead and removed a bigger chunk. And when I did, oh wow, take a look at that. It looks like a nice fresh steak. The dough definitely got as tight as possible. And as you can clearly see, we got zero oxidation. There's nothing spoiled about it. This is quite promising. So we went ahead and started removing all of it out. The key here is not to be cheap and remove it as much as needed. And of course, by the time you're done, take a look at both of them side by side. There is a huge differences between them. Which one would you rather eat? Probably not this one as it looks like our experimental one worked perfectly. But the question is, how did it affect the flavor? I honestly have no idea, but I'm curious to find out, as the next thing to do is to go ahead and get it seasoned. And for that, we season it with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. And as you can clearly see, it was seasoned properly, as I have no idea what to expect next. And just in case things go south, I decided to go ahead and make an awesome side dish, because I promise you one thing, this is going to be delicious. And the best thing is is that it's super simple to make and here's how. Everything starts off with the dough. Just like our experiment steak, the only thing you gotta do is to mix flour and water together. Once you have a nice shaggy dough, go ahead and transfer it to a board and knead it for 5 minutes. If it's slightly bouncing back, you know it's ready. Then you wanna cover it and let it rest for 30 minutes. It's great because it gives you time to go ahead and make a sauce and also the filling. For the sauce, we just gotta make a sweet chili oil. Into a container, you wanna throw in some cochucado, followed by green onions, a good amount of garlic, brown sugar, sesame seeds, Shaoxing wine, dark soy sauce, and hoisin sauce. Now heat up avocado oil to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and throw it in there. That is how easy it is to make this chili oil. And I'll tell you one thing, it is delicious. And by this time, the dough is already ready. As you 
you can see it is super smooth and ready to be stretched. Talking about that, the easiest way I know how is to start making a hole in the middle, just like a donut. Then you want to go ahead and stretch it all out. Once you have everything about an inch thick, split the whole thing and start cutting in little pieces. Just about one inch is good enough, as the next thing to do is to go ahead and open it up like a pizza. The thinner you roll this, the better it's gonna be. Use all-purpose flour if needed to make sure it does not stick, because once everything has been opened up, you want to go ahead and add your filling. And by the way, to make it, it's super simple. First, grab some ground pork, followed by green onions, good amount of garlic, MSG, salt, white pepper, and to finish it off, sesame oil. Now mix everything well and combine these ingredients together, because the filling is ready. And once it's placed right in the middle of the dough, this is the technique I like to use, pushing one over the other and pinching it as you go. If you lay it down on your board, it just makes it a lot easier to do, because once done, you want to pinch the excess and take a look. Easy to make dumplings. I'm telling you friends, if you've never tried to do this, do it. If it's your first time, it might look intimidating, but trust me when I tell you, it's not a big deal. And if you've never had it, oh boy, you're going to be in for a treat. As the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and put it in a steamer, and after about 10 minutes, they will be fully cooked. Then you want to place it on a nice plate, add a generous amount of that chili oil, the more the better. Even though this chili oil is a little bit spicy, it is also sweet, and it is fantastic. If you want to make it fancy, go ahead and add some green onions right in the middle, because this is today's side dish. And I can tell you one thing, it's going to be fantastic. Don't believe me? Well, you just wait and see. Because remember, we still have to cook our experimental steak. Remember all the crazy thing that he went through. And let me remind you that it has been half a year. I have no idea what to expect. I just hope they're going to be real good. As the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and cook them. First, I'll be putting a nice, wonderful sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking it in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'm going to be using my meter thermometer. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steaks. So let's do it. This one look a little bit suspicious, everybody. But before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Meter. Built to endure high heat with an ultra sleek, thin design and made out of stainless steel. No, I'm not talking about my abs, even though they're really nice. I'm talking about the Meter 2 Plus. With this wireless thermometer, it estimates my cook time and lets me know exactly when my steak is perfect and ready to eat. This way, I'll never under or overcook anything. It can withstand up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, so you can now leave the probe in while cooking or searing. Also, with its Bluetooth 5.2, PHY long range. There's no need to be next to the grill. Simply check the app and you can see how their steaks are doing, no matter where you are. Not to mention that the app is super easy to set up and even easier to use. They even have a masterclass feature that teaches users proper meter techniques and guarantees perfectly delicious meals. With over 40 free recipes right now and a bunch more to come, Meter makes everything simple and convenient to use. Cooking is supposed to be fun after all. So click the link below to check out Meter if you're interested, because thanks Meter for sponsoring this video as now it's time to try this insane steak that has been dry aging for half a year. Is it gonna be good? Well, we're about to find out right now. All right, everybody, and here we got our beautiful steak with an incredible side dish. Gentlemen, what do you guys think? Oh, uh, if that's the same chili oil that you used the other day. Yes, it is the same chili oil, right? There's something special about chili oil, right? So good. Well, I like me some chili oil. Now, with all that being said, we got a little experiment going on over here. I don't know, Google, those steaks look a little tiny today. Look a little small for a good reason, I okay? What that means. Be as brutal as you can and just tell me the truth. On a scale of one to 10, how weird is it? Yeah, it's pretty weird. Uh, Let's dig in, please go in. We're gonna try this direction. Let me know. Let's do dig it. In. I'm starting to get a little tired, Google. Of you telling me you did all this crazy stuff to a steak right before I put it in my mouth. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's funky right there. I like it. Oh, that's powerful, everybody. You gotta have a taste for this one here. Damn. Oh, oh Leo don't like it. Look at Leo. Bro, that's like almost beef jerky how dry that is. Holy cow. Leo doesn't appreciate the dry age. Oh, you can tell it's dry age. 
How can you not tell it's dry aged, dude? That's so <laughs> How long has this one has been dry aged for, Leo? Too long. You <laughs> ask me right now, way too long. It is extremely tender. It is yeah. very flavorful. But you know, when you eat a steak, you want that juiciness and there's almost no juice. Yeah, a lot of times when you bite into a steak, that juice has more flavor. You know, it has the seasonings, the actual meat juices. It just adds to the dynamic deliciousness of a steak and you kind of lose out on this, but it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's a good steak. That gets me really excited to go ahead and try the next one. Hold on, hold on, because Funky Town is going on right now. Can we try that instead? Are you trying to wash your palate? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Leo, Leo is really excited no, about this one right you've here. You've turned me into a fan of chili oil. So these are quite special. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. I want you guys to try it and you tell me how you like it or if you hate it and so forth. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Oh my God. That is good, everybody. I'm telling you, what do you think, description, guys? That is so juicy. Yeah. <laughs> Completely wow. opposite from that, your steak. I wish some of this side just rubbed off on that steak because <laughs> that is so juicy, so flavorful. It's a perfect dumpling. And I just love the chili oil on it. This one tastes, got a little bit of sweetness on it. It has an incredible flavor. Listen, bro, I know there's a little bit of greens in there, but it doesn't bother me this time. The chili oil brings everything together in a way where it's like, this is a chili oil type dumpling. You know what I mean? And the best part is that it is ridiculously easy to make, everybody. You might take, why are you laughing? Because I don't believe you, man. No, it's very easy to make, it's everybody. Ridiculous. It might take a little bit of your time, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. Please, dig in. You know, I'm noticing that this second steak is a lot bigger and has a slightly different color too. Yeah, it's nice and pink. Mm, does it smell different? I like pink. It does, actually. Yeah. It's a different type of smell, but it's not bad. Not bad. No. Okay, well, let's see how it's gonna taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ooh, it's like sweet. That is amazing, everybody. That is phenomenal. Wow. It has that like slight sweetness. It's not where it's like so sweet it ruins it. Mm -mm. It's like just a little. Yeah, and I also don't really taste that profound dry age funkiness with this one either, yeah. although it does I agree. it does taste good. It tastes beefy. It retained its moisture a lot better as well. It's a juicy, freaking delicious steak. So question, be honest with me over here. Which one did you like better, the first one or the second one? Hands down the second steak. Yeah, second, the second, steak. second one is a lot better. I 100% agree, everybody. Now, what would you think if I told you both of these steaks have been dry aged for six months? Both of them? Both of them. Now this one, that's why it's so dry. It's the control. It's a real dry age control one. And this one was dry aged in dough. Dough? Like dough? bread dough? Yeah, dumpling dough. Bro, my brain hurts right now. How how they how they dry aged for the same amount of time. So many years ago, that's what they did to preserve meat. And as you can tell, it preserved quite well. Definitely. That is one of the most successful experiments we have done, everybody. It's kind of like butter, huh? Yeah. Where it'll just kind of cover everything. Exactly. And it tastes incredible, everybody. If you want to dry age your steaks and preserve it, do it in dough. It will be better. We agree? That's agree. delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.